Hello, I'm about to do uh, one of my motor tests. This was a curious one, it's just going to be a quick test. Um, I decided to buy one of these, was it NTM uh, heli motors? Uh, well, they rotor drive motors, 450 series, it's 1700 kV, it's uh, basically a 2836 size, uh, but it's rated up to 6S, 6L. Um, it says, what the spec, I think it's 930 watts at 40 amps it's rated to. Um, I thought I'd see what it was like with a prop, see what it's like. Um, I had to change the shaft in it though, um, I've just whacked it in at the moment, it's not cut down properly and stuff, because um, the, what is it, it's a 4mm internal shaft, uh, but it goes down to a 3.5mm shaft, probably for the rotor gears and whatnot. Um so you can't really fit any proper adapter on it, I can't, can't, couldn't find one that's 3.5mm. So um, I just put a 4mm four, four shaft in it and a 4mm uh, prop adapter just all the way through, 4mm. So that worked out alright. Right, I got it on my thrust rig. Uh, ESC I'm using is oh, a bit blurry, uh, Hobby King 40 amp. It's rated up to 6L. The uh, 6L I'm using it on is a Zippy 2700 milliamp uh, 25C 6L. Got it plugged into the watt meter. 25 volts. And I've got the scales here. Let me just switch them on. There we go, they're zeroed. Uh, prop I've got on here is a TGS 5x5 prop. So let's see what numbers we get on this. Ah, so that was 1300 grams of thrust. And what are we doing on what's an amps? 39 amps, 853 watts. Then what's it? 21, 2, 3 on volts. 39 and a half amps, 853 watts. Right, let's do a bit more of a burst just to check that. Focus. 1.6, so it's about the same really. That's on me trying this. Right, uh, might change it up to a bigger prop. It's, it's warm. Let's try this up. Shut up. Uh, where's my temperature gauge? It's not going to be enough aside there. Right, let's have a look. Uh, find a hole. Twenty-eight point eight degrees. So I'll prop it up. Okay, I'll come back in a moment with a bigger prop on it. Right, let's test this motor again. And still same motor. Still everything's still the same. Uh, I've got a, another TGS prop on it. It was a six by four prop, but I've cut it down slightly. Um, I don't know, maybe half an inch or something. So it's about five and a half inches, although probably slightly more. 
and let's see what this does. So it was a six by four, cut down to about five and a half by four. Significant. I'm just waiting for this to focus. Forty-four point nine amps, nine hundred and fifty-nine watts. Right. Let's do a bit more of a. First. Yeah, not that much difference. How's the temps? Yes, all right. Can't really get this in there. Uh. Yeah, that's better. Doing it from under there. What we got? Function thirty seven point four. Oh, it's warm, but it seems to be all right. So that thrust, that thrust was significant eighteen hundred grams of thrust. Blimey, that's on a uh, let's get the ruler out. Wrong side. What we got there? Uh, measure that. So that's actually about six and three quarter inches. Just under six and three quarter inches. Right now, do I try another prop? I've got one more prop here which would be good to try because it'll be good for speed. Right, I'll stick that one on and come back. Alright, so this next prop I've stuck on is uh, one of those Aero style uh, high speed props. So 5.5 by 5.5. I found them to actually be a pretty good pop, prop for. Uh, high speed. Um, interesting to see what we get on thrust. Uh, I haven't charged the battery up though, but should be alright. That makes quite a noise. Ah. Yes, they do draw quite a lot more current though. You probably heard that the motor didn't like it. That's 52 amps and 1100 watts. Uh, yeah. Didn't really like that. I have to say it's. I can get that on. Uh, yeah, see, it's a bit warm on that though. And they do have a 60 amp burst on those, I think. Um, but it's a bit high on the old current there. Oh, there's a focus. I don't think what's the thrust, I don't think it's any better than the 5x5 five five TGS. <laughs> Same. 
Right. Anyway, I think that's it for that. That should be a reasonably good motor. The old NTM rotor drive. 450, 1700 kV. Alright, so that could be a pretty good motor. Alright, I think that's it for now. See you later.